when, when you're ready, you can just start. It's oh, you're recording already? Yeah, right now. Hi, thank you for joining me in this video today. So if you're thinking about getting an electric vehicle or a hybrid plug-in vehicle, you'll probably be asking, okay, so where do I charge? Well, other than at home, of course. In this video, I'm going to be traveling around Phoenix, Arizona, where I live, and I'll be showing you the different kinds of chargers that are out there. Before I jump into this video, let me give you some basic and quick information about the different levels of charging and connectors there are. This information pertains to the United States. Level 1 charging is using a regular wall outlet. It's very slow, but you can get 30 to 40 miles of range overnight. Level 2 is typically what people have installed at home in their garage to charge with. Level 3 are fast chargers, which help with long distance driving. In this video, I'm showing level 2s and level 3s. I also want to quickly explain the different kinds of connectors that you may come across, or that you may be using depending on the car you get. The J1772, other known as a J connector, is the most common found on EVs and plug-in hybrids. CCS is a combination of the J connector and the two DC lugs at the bottom, which enable DC fast charging. Chatamo is a DC fast charging standard and is mostly used in Japan, but Japanese cars in the US also use this connector. The Tesla connector works at all levels, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, let's jump into my adventure. We're at a Blink charger and it's a J connector and this is another company of electric chargers um, in various areas. And for the Tesla, we need to use this adapter. But um, essentially, you can get a Blink card or just uh, log in with your Blink membership. But this one actually is free, and it's here in the city of Phoenix next to the Diamondback Stadium and the Phoenix Suns. So this is one option you have to charge. So for the Tesla adapter, you just plug it in here and you plug it in your car. So you can plug in almost all US babies, or you can do plug-in hybrids as well. I'm in the Electrify America charger. It's another option you can charge when you're traveling. And we have a CCS charger and a Chatamo charger. The CCS charges up to 150 kilowatts, and then there's some on that side that charge up to 350 kilowatts. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, Teslas and the Nissan Leafs can't charge as it, at least for now. This is the Chatamo connector. It's heavy and bulky, and it charges up to 50 kilowatts. Um, some US EVs can charge on this. The Tesla can charge on it, but with a different adapter that you have to buy for $450. Here is another option for charging, and these are the EVgo fast charging um, chargers, and they also have Chatamo and CCS adapters. This is a local charging station, and they're free because sometimes it goes out on it. So this is a Tesla supercharger, and if you have a Tesla, you'll be stopping here when you're going on long distance road trips. This charges up to 150 kilowatts, but there are similar versions called version 3 that charge up to 250 kilowatts. This is a charge point charging station, and this one happens to be $1.25 per hour, but all of them are set at different prices. Before I forget, on another video I did um, traveling from Phoenix to Anaheim, in California there was an interesting charger I found. Let me show you. While I was walking, I saw a black box on a telephone pole, and it's probably just an electrical box, but when I took a closer look, it had a white handle on it, and then I noticed, oh wait, this is a charger on a telephone pole. And it turns out it's a green lots charger, and so what you do is you scan the QR code on the pole, and it drops down the cord from the telephone pole so you can charge. And I thought that was really interesting. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for spending time with me today. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Kaya's Tesla. Kaya's my dog. 
And if you're interested in buying a Tesla, make sure to use my referral code in the description below. See you next time. Bye. Oh, not really. I just want you to zoom in closer. I don't want so much space.